I'm Father Mark Bear, and I'm the director of the St. Augustine Indian Mission. Uh, I've had that role for a little over a year, um, so I'm still learning a lot and, and growing, and um, I've definitely learned more than more than anything last year or so. Where'd you Where'd you come from? I was in Wayne, about 30 miles away from here. Did a lot with uh, college students. Wayne State College is there. In fact, while I was there, I took a group of college kids here for a spring break service trip. We wanted to do something local. And uh, we're like, well, why don't we just go to the mission? And during that week, it was my first real exposure to the mission. I had come for mass, but that was my first real exposure to it. And we were doing service in the community. I just felt a lot of peace. and. I would talk to the director then, Father Dave, uh, in the evenings, and I told him just the real peace I felt, and uh, that if they were ever looking for a priest in the future, I'd definitely consider it and pray about it, and next thing I know, um, being assigned. It's been a wonderful experience. I had no idea what it was gonna be like living on a reservation. Uh, probably one of the stories of my life is the fact that God has given me everything I, I didn't want and everything I never asked for and it's made all the difference. And just coming over here, I wasn't sure, yeah, I wasn't sure of a whole lot. I just was coming, trying to be an open book, just trying to learn. And uh, people have been very warm and inviting to me. Uh, people have been good about um, laughing at me when I, when I don't know what I'm doing or I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, and people have been good also about just uh, kind of walking me through things. Like if I go to a ceremony I've never been to before, um, somebody would just kind of maybe sit next to me and explain to me what's going on. So they've been very patient and warm and inviting, and it's, it's been a wonderful experience. Uh, I know people accept me when they pick on me. Uh, if, if they can give me a hard time, and uh, that, that's when you know, that's when you know you're in. Because yeah, exactly. that means they're comfortable with you, you're, they kind of see you as real, and um, that, that's a good sign. Yeah, sure. uh, it, it takes a little time to, to learn the sense of humor, yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, they don't laugh at my jokes either sometimes, so it goes both ways. Yeah. I'm the director of the school, uh, so I oversee all the, the big picture things. Um, um, I make sure uh, a lot of my job is the, on the development fundraising side, but also um, just kind of overseeing uh, personnel and things like that. Well, besides just bringing a, a good education to our kids that really does equip them for the future, um, I really feel like our kids come out and they're prepared to, to kind of do whatever uh, their hearts desire. And many of them do uh, go off to get further education and, and even come back to use their gifts uh, here on the reservations. And that's the biggest thing, because that's what produces hope, produces positive change is when our kids feel like they and that anything's possible for them and that they can use their gifts and come back um, to help their people. Um, so that's the, that's the biggest thing. Uh, also, I think a lot of our parents send their kids here because of a sense of God. Uh, there's a lot of spirituality and reverence um, in the Winnebago and Omaha tribes. And so I think their kids just learning to pray, like learning that God cares about them and, and wants their good it's just important to them, and they want that to be a part of their kids' lives. You go to public events and everything starts with prayer. Um, everything is directed towards God, the creator of all, um, and, and thanksgiving for all that God has given to us. That's where it all starts. Every event I've been to has been like that. Uh, my hope for the school is that uh, we'll educate more and more kids, um, that will give them even brighter futures, um, and that will continue the transformation of life here on the reservations. Uh, we, we want to be a beacon of hope. Uh, we're kind of up on a hill, like right above town, and we want people to, to see our school and, and say, yeah, there's, there's a spot where we can always look to for hope and peace. That's what we want. Yeah, there's definitely a sense of pride in the people here. Um, they want to, they have a strong sense of who they are. Um, the families are very close. Um, there's a strong sense of, if you ask them who they are, where they're from, like, I'm, I'm from Winnebago, I'm from the Winnebago tribe, I'm, I'm a member of the Omaha tribe, and there's a sense of pride and dignity in that. Um, and we definitely try to honor that in terms of our religious ceremonies. We try to include a Native American symbolism in a respectful way. Um, we also try to include that, that language and culture with our kids as well. 
Um, if we don't do that, we're not doing our job as a school because we want them to be proud of who God made them to be and the people that God has made them a part of. A lot of our kids are, a good number of them are fourth, fifth generation um, of people that went to this school. And yeah, they can talk about their parents going there, their aunt and uncle, their grandparents, their great grandparents. And, um, and then you talk to people in town, they'll tell stories about how their, their parents and grandparents knew St. Catherine Drexel, who started the school, and um, the, the stories of even the, the boarding school days, even up until now. So a strong sense of the history. I'm sure you've gotten that today, for sure. Um, in the boarding school days, uh, every Native American boarding school, the goal was to assimilate the people. Um, it was the, the belief of the government that the best way forward was to um, make the, the Native American people just like uh, the white settlers here. Um, so that was what they saw was the way. Um, sadly, uh, so kids would go off to the, to the boarding schools, including ours, and they'd be told not to speak their language or, or do their customs. Um, and yeah, so we were, we were definitely a part of that. Um, but that's why we see it even more, uh, or our responsibility to make sure we help them keep their culture now, and to keep their identity, um, and to know the beauty of it. One of my prayers is always uh, for healing. Um, I, I think with, with the past, both of, of the tribes and of our, our, our school, um, we just hope to bring healing to people in so many ways, um, healing, healing those wounds. Because um, luckily as Christians, we know that it's, it's through those wounds that we really experience God's love and mercy and and we find our way forward, and um, I'm wounded, we're all wounded, and uh, so to, to ask God kind of for those healings to, to go forward in faith, and, um, and that's where we're gonna find, uh, that's where we're gonna find the future, that healing and that hope. Yeah.